today. A little different adventure. We're gonna take the boat out and do a little sandbar day. So kind of show you our setup, what we do for the sandbar and what we got and how we pack the cooler. I guess it really doesn't matter how we pack the cooler, but it does our own thing. But uh, yeah, do a little day of fun. Not so much fishing today. Awesome day out today. The fun of boat ownership. The radio's not working for some reason, so backup plan. Always have a wireless speaker. Smoking, she broken. sandbar all right everybody it's time for some real talk so if you're new to boating like we are there's a lot to learn so I wanted to share five things that we've learned in our first few months or so uh, boating and going to the sandbar so number one it's probably the most important make sure you pay attention to mother nature what I mean by that is check your forecast for the day before you go out See if there's supposed to be any thunderstorms coming in, but real important, check the wind, how much it's supposed to be blowing, what direction, and check the tides. Know when they're going in, going out, how fast they're supposed to be moving, because that's really important when you go to anchor. Speaking of anchoring, number two is anchor appropriately, and really what I mean by that is a couple things. So... When we got our boat, there was a bow anchor and a stern anchor. The bow anchor had... Uh, a, ch a chain and probably 150 feet or so of rope and there was a stern anchor with no rope attached um, for ease I decided to cut down some of the rope on the bow anchor and then attached it to the smaller stern anchor and we tried using that for a while on sandbar lesson learned there was the anchor was way too small didn't have chain to it so it made it impossible to stick it uh, just by dropping it in and dragging it so pays to have the correct size anchor have a chain on there um, and also make sure you're letting out enough scope and scope is the length of the uh, anchor that you let out from the boat uh, everything i've heard and read so far somewhere around five to seven to one uh, ratio of the scope to the depth of the water you're in so if it's if you're in five feet of water and you're anchoring there you'd want somewhere between 25 and 35 feet of scope all right next item number three kind of a no-brainer pack appropriately for your day uh, by that biggest thing make sure you bring sunscreen make sure you bring enough beverages you know nothing ruins a day more than needing something and not having it out at the sandbar uh, number four, and this is something I learned because we have a power pole, so it, it probably may only apply mostly to power pole folks. Um, but don't try and back your boat in perfectly. If you've got somebody on the boat with you, have them throw the anchor out off the bow and then back it in close to where you're trying to go. Cut the engine, hop out when it's shot where it's shallow enough, and drag the boat into place. We do that um, by 
having Courtney throw the anchor off the bow. I give her the little remote to the power pole. I'll back us in to where it's shallow enough for me to hop out, cut the engine, hop out, drag the boat into place, and then she'll drop the power pole into place. Um, if you don't have a power pole, you'll probably do the same thing but with a stern anchor. Last but not least, number five, be respectful of others and have fun. Uh, in our little bit of time going to the sandbar and hanging out, we've seen quite a few jack holes going out there and blowing by the sandbar way too fast in no wake zones. Um, throws stuff all around, throws boats all around, and you know, playing loud, inappropriate music around families. I mean, yes, it's public, but you know, have some decency and common courtesy it's a family area um so yeah just be respectful of others help people out when they look like they're having some trouble there's a lot of newbies out there um we ran into somebody well ran into somebody ran into us really and uh didn't really know what they were doing and and uh started to drift into our our anchor line so you know me seeing what they were doing seeing they look new i just made sure i brought attention to what was going on and hopped out there and helped them and we avoided a catastrophe so be respectful of others help each other out and have fun all right back to your re regularly scheduled program got anchored up so we used the anchor out front out there tide's coming out so we put the nose into the tide and then power pull back there Yeah, we stay away from everybody. Just us and our dog. Pub subs. Pub subs in the sandbar Sunday. Nothing better. Our dog's spoiled. episode thanks for joining us here again at mb kayak tv if you haven't already hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw smash that like button leave us a comment all right thanks y'all we'll see you next time <laughs>